guys welcome back to chemarcom in this video we are going to continue our exploration on tributyl tin hydride reagent if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe let's go in so in our first part of tributyl tin hydride reagent we already seen that tributyl tin hydride reagent preparation properties and two important applications such as reduction of organochloride and dehalogenation followed by carbon carbon coupling so in this video we are going to see five important application let's see one by one so the first application in this video is you know stark cyclization the radical cyclization of hollow acetal is called as you know stark cyclization According to this reaction, allylic alcohol react with electron-rich alkene in the presence of NBS, which produces this corresponding bromoacetal. Then, when you use tributyl tin hydride ABN, which produces radical cyclized product. So here the cyclic cyclized product is tetrahydrofuran. Let's see mechanistically how this reaction takes place. So initially allylic alcohol and electron rich alkene and bromine molecule react together to produce haloacetals or bromoacetals. So in this particular case NBS is produced this bromine molecule in low concentration. So let's see how this happened. So initially this oxygen has two lone pair of electron which readily attacks this center then followed by the terminal position of position having electrons which attacks the bromine molecule and then followed by kick off on Br minus ion which produce this corresponding bromoacetal part along with HBr. So the next step when you use tributyl tin hydride ABN which readily generate the tributyl tin radical. So if you want to know about exact mechanism behind tributyl tin hydride ABN you just go and watch our first part of the video. So when you use this, you will get the tributyl tin radical. This tributyl tin radical readily abstract the bromine atom, which produce readily this carbon center radical. So after generation of carbon center radical, which readily attacks the alkene, this particular carbon. So once again, if you are not sure about the regioselectivity of this particular attack, you just go through our part one video, you will understand better way. You just remember this point. Small ring is favored to form compared to the larger ring system. So this radical attacks here. So which produce one more new carbon center radical. This readily abstract the proton from tributyl tin hydride. So which readily produce this corresponding tetrahydrofuran product. So this particular reaction is highly useful in natural product synthesis. Just uh, see one application for this particular reaction. So when you use chromic acid, that means Jones reagent, which produce this corresponding lactone product. So here you see some of the examples based on, you know, stark cyclization. The first example is, example is here. So here you see bromoacetal part, when you use this reaction condition, which readily generate the radical here, then followed by attack takes place here, which produce this five member ring system. Here we should note the stereochemistry, uh, stereochemistry for this reaction. So here you see this tesselate butyl group present in the top phase, while this alkyne present in the bottom phase, therefore the cyclization takes place by bottom phase, which produce this corresponding product. So this is the another example, so here also, Having the bromoacetal part when you use tributyl tin hydride, ABN condition which readily undergo cyclization which produces this five member ring system. Here you see this group present in the top phase, therefore, the cyclization also occurred in the top phase produ to produce this particular product. So, this is the another example. So, here also having bromoacetal part when you use tributyl tin hydride, ABN which readily gets cyclized to produce this corresponding five member ring system. Here also you should note the stereochemistry since this group present in the bottom phase therefore the cyclization also takes place in the bottom phase to produce this product. So here we should note the all the stereochemistry for the final product. The stereochemistry of the final product is dictated by the stereochemistry present in the uh, allylic alcohol 
part okay or sometimes the stereochemistry of this particular acetal also plays a crucial role by their anomeric effect so next we moving on another important application is doubt packed with ring expansion reaction according to this radical mediator ring expansion of two hollow methyl cycloalkylone is called a doubt packed with ring expansion so according to this here you see this example so this one is two bromo methyl cyclohexanone when you use tributyl integrated abn which produced seven member ring system let's see mechanism so initially when you use tributyl integrated abn which produced tributyl tin radical which readily abstract the bromine atom which produced this carbon center radical along with tributyl tin bromide as a byproduct this carbon center radical readily attacks the carbonyl carbon then followed by this pi electron here you see the comolytically pi bond comolytically cleave which produce few oxygen centered radical here you see this three member ring system we already know that highly strained ring system particularly this bond undergo homolytic cleavage see how this happen this radical comes here then followed by this bond homolytically cleave which produce new carbon center radical so after the generation of carbon center radical which readily takes the proton from tributyl tin hydride which produce this seven membered ring system let's see some more examples so here you take this example when you use this 1,3 tricarbonyl compound when you use sodium hydride dibromo with methane which readily produce this corresponding alkylator product then when you use tributyl tin hydride abn which produce this six membered ring ketone as a product so this is the another example not only small ring system even higher member ring system also possible to produce when you use under this reaction condition so this is the another example so when you use sodium hydride di iodomethane here we should note the stereochemistry of this product so here is the active methylene hydrogen active methylene containing hydrogen therefore when you use sodium hydride which readily takes the proton here therefore which lost the stereochemistry of this particular center which produced corresponding inlet ion this inlet ion readily attack the diiodomethane from bottom phase since the top phase is highly shielded by this groups therefore which produce this corresponding iodo compound when you use tributyl tin hydride so now you see cyclization takes place from bottom phase and followed by the abstraction of proton from tributyl tin hydride from bottom phase to produce this product so next we moving on reduction of acid halide so the reduction of acid halide is not a fancy method to produce um, corresponding aldehyde by using tributyl tin hydride since there are lot of lot of other methods are known in literature for such as dibol h reduction as well as rosamond reduction so anyway tributyl tin hydride also possible to reduce acid chloride into corresponding aldehyde along with which produce corresponding ester as well as tributyl tin chloride as a byproduct here you see the mechanism when you use tributyl tin hydride which produce tributyl tin radical as well as hydrogen radical so this tributyl tin radical readily abstract the chlorine atom from acid chloride which produce corresponding azyl radical along with tributyl tin chloride as a byproduct so this azyl radical readily abstract a proton from tributyl tin hydride which produce aldehyde product along with tributyl tin radical so next you should see the how this ester is formed this acyl radical readily attack the aldehyde oxygen atom then followed by which generate corresponding carbon center radical this carbon center radical readily takes a proton from tributyl tin hydride which produce this corresponding ester product so here based on the r group either this mechanism can undergo radical mechanism or ionic mechanism so next we moving on reduction of carbonyl compound just like reduction of acid chloride so the reduction of carbonyl compounds by tributyl tin hydride is not a fancy method to produce corresponding alcohol products since there is there are lot of methods available in literature such as sodium borohydride reduction and lithium aluminum hydride reduction so anyway when you use tributyl tin hydride is it possible to reduce the aldehyde or ketone compounds so let's see mechanism so most importantly this particular reduction of carbonyl compounds undergo by ionic mechanism since 
we see in series of tributyl tin hydride reaction most of the reactions are undergo by radical mediator reaction so this particular uh, reaction undergoes by ionic mechanism so here you see tributyl tin hydride we can put tin metal having delta positive charge while this hydride having delta negative charge therefore this hydride ion attacks this carbonyl carbon then this oxygen part take care of this thin part so which produce this corresponding intermediate so when you do acid workup which produce this corresponding alcohols so this is one of the important example since here stereochemistry is involved when you use tributyl tin hydride which selectively attacks this carbonyl from equatorial position since equatorial position is less sterically crowded compared to the axial position therefore which produce this corresponding alcohol product so next we moving on reduction of nitro compound this is one of the important method to produce nitro compounds into corresponding hydrocarbon product so here you see the mechanism when you use tributyl tin hydride abm which produce tributyl tin radical which readily attacks the oxygen atom so which produce this corresponding radical cation intermediate so now you see this r and nitrogen bond homolytically cleave which produce this pi product along with or radical so this radical readily takes the proton from tributyl tin hydride which produces this corresponding hydrocarbon product so this particular method highly useful for only aliphatic nitro compounds only aliphatic nitro compounds here is a one of the example when you use this compound when you use tributyl tin hydride abn which produces this corresponding hydrocarbon product finally we come to the end of this video today we have covered five important applications of tributyl tin hydride reagent so still we have three more important application we will see in our next part of tributyl tin hydride reagent so here are some of the important practice problems when you get the free time you just to try to work it out so if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more engaging content until next time bye bye